Hello everybody, in this vid power review, I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know about the interactive video software called VidPower. If you do have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you check the description, I will leave a discount link so that you can always get your money's worth for VidPower. So I'm going to begin with showing you the website and the software. As you can see on the left, we have a simplistic design uh, of a menu. And then on the right hand side, we have the information of that said section. So we have the total videos on the main dashboard, the amount of total playlists and the total domains that are in use, along with sessions by country so that we can view where people are watching our videos from, along with which browser they're doing it from and which operating system they're on. It's a very simplistic view. Going on to resources, we have external website links to training and guides for the website, a Chrome extension for the website and also a support desk should you need some help. I'm now going to move on to the videos. If we hit all, we can view all the videos. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I've already imported. All you need to do is hit add video. You can put in your YouTube source. It obviously supports Vimeo, URLs, Dropbox, Google Drive, and vid tags. But for this purpose, we're going to be using a YouTube. And then you just simply paste the URL and say whether it's a live stream and the visibility of the video. We're going to be using this one as I've already imported it. And we're going to go ahead and click edit. Now on the left, this is what we're going to be looking at, the customize, data, and the settings tab. Under customize, we have controls, play button, and thumbnail. If you go to controls, what this allows us to do is select all the different aspects of the video and change, remove, change the color of, etc. of all these different sections. So we can toggle whether the play button is visible. As you can see, it is off at the moment. And between the two 10 second time movers, there should be a play button. All you would need to do to get it back is go to controls, turn this on and then after a few seconds the play button would be back once you've saved it as you can see there we are then the other controls are 10 second skips progress current time mute volume captions settings picture in picture airplay download and full screen so you can change whether those buttons are there or whether they're not it's completely up to you under the play button very obviously you can change the color of the play button the style and an animation should you so wish under the data tab, we have a plethora of options that we can select and customize, and I'm going to be taking you through each one. So as you can see, we have CTA. This means call to action. What this allows us to do is essentially give a interactive thing at the very, very beginning of the video that people can click on, which goes to text. It could have a URL that it goes to, and you can essentially add an image. So just before the video plays a little bit like a YouTube ad, it will display an image or a video or whatever you want with some text where people can click on it and link to an external website. As for email leads, you can essentially have a form pop up on the video where people can input their name and their email. And obviously they will have the submit title, uh, almost like an email subject, and you will be able to get leads on people who have watched your videos if they desire to give you their email and name. Now going on to for share, as you can see, we have the title, so you can obviously have a title and then the time. What this will essentially allow you to do is make viewers stop the video and share the video before they can continue. It is a for share. It can annoy some of your viewers, but it's also a great way of earning insights and analytics. You can also embed an HTML form, but you will need this in HTML format. So if you do know how to code in HTML, this is a brilliant thing for you. You can also add a countdown timer at the beginning of the video uh, with a time and a date for it to count down to. And you also have a plethora of integration options. All you would need to do for this is hit add, choose at least one integration, and to add it, you need to click this link. It will take you to an external website, as you can see just here. And then all you need to do is tap new integration, type of integration. There's a lot of different options that you can pick from. And then the name of it, test and create. Simple as that. We're now going to move on to the overlay adverts. Now the overlay adverts essentially allow you to have an advert that is displayed over the top of the original video. You can have a number of these, as you can see info overlay, you can have a URL, the icon for the ad and some text just to give a bit of context, and then some overlay text to appear over the top of the advert as well. You can also have an animation for how it fades in. There's a load of these that you can choose from to suit your liking, along with a certain time in the video that you want this advert to appear. Moving on, we have the hotspot button and link section. Essentially, hotspots are big interactive things where it basically allows your uh, community or your viewers to interact with a video in a specific way. It's completely up to you, but you can have a maximum of five hotspots. 
And then explanatory, you can have questions as well. You have up to five questions that you can ask them at different times, and then your viewers will obviously give an answer. And moving on to settings, we have all of these. We simply have general, allowing you to change the URL of the video, the URL of the original video, some language, as you can see, credits, views, reactions, share, autoplay, auto loop, very you know, basic options that you can edit for the video. Uh, along with that, you have information. This allows you to put a title and a description on the video. You can also redirect to a different link when the video is ended by simply putting a link in here. And when the video is over, it will send all your viewers to say your company website or whichever website you really want. Auto pause, if, you're, if your uh, viewer is to change tab, all you would need to do here is set this to on and whenever they leave the video tab, it will pause the video and when they return, they can play it again and watch so they don't miss any content. You can also show feedback, have a title and a subtitle so that you can view feedback and people can also see that. You can add custom analytics and third party code for stuff that isn't you know readily available in the software already. And then you can also have split testing, a maximum of three. This essentially allows you to have a a certain amount of uh, people get sent to a different area of the website you can set that to 25 50 or 75 it's quite a good way of getting a few statistics okay going back we have the rest of these tabs to go through we're now going to move on to analytics analytics allows us to view the views unique visits completion rate and then the reactions and comments this is a more simplified view but you can view a full statistic view by simply hitting this button and seeing a larger thing with graphs disengagement rate unique click-through rate a few things that you wouldn't see on the basic option you can also create projects. As you can see, I've got a ready pro project here called Hello. This just allows you to essentially have a folder with a numerous amount of videos in it so that if you have a group of them and you want to simply have them in one easy place to view, this is where you would put them. Pages is a premium feature, so we can't view this just today. But simply by going back, we can go to the sales page and this allows us to have a little look. See, I've already created one. All you need to do is hit new page and then you can, as you can see, we've got title hello by hitting view we can simply view the sales page of this particular thing it's blank at the moment because obviously nobody's been there but that is what you would do to view your sales page and then you can edit it to have a name and a title you can edit the sales page to basically show whatever you want you can have visibility so you can have whether it's published or not to the public if it isn't then nobody would be able to see it you can customize it to have background colors so it's very very simple sort of web design, uh, but it is there if you want to make your sales page like a little bit more interesting. You can have your search engine optimization features such as title description, very simple as that. Promotional content, you can have uh, visible on it. So if people are checking out uh, the website, then you can also link them to external sites to improve your revenue and etc. You can also link people to your social media pages. So it has an offer for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, should you want to release content on those pages or if if you already are. Then you also have buttons available. You can have primary buttons, secondary buttons, third and fourth buttons. So you can have up to four, um, but that's plenty for a small sales website. And then you can obviously add videos so that people can link to different videos that you have created when they're finished browsing. We're now gonna move over to playlists. So by hitting the playlist tab, as you can see, all we need to do is hit new playlist and we can select the title, description, ID and logo. And this will create a playlist of videos for people to go through. So you can have all related videos of the same content or same sort of idea all in the very same place. Moving on to integrations, this is very, very similar to what we were talking about earlier, just a more broad page for it. You simply hit new integration, you select the type, as you can see, the very large amount of them, and then the name of it, test and create identical to what we were looking at earlier. As for leads, if you did have a lead email form, this is where you have a little look at them. As you can see, you can see how many you've got from each specific video, and then you can either synchronize them to get more that maybe have not have updated by now, or you can view the details of them, showing them the name and the email so that you can contact that said person. Having a little look at the customize tab, we have the domains tab. This allows us to link our VidPower video to our own website. So say you had hello.com that you owned, all you would need to do is link it through this page and then you would need to allow for 24 to 48 hours for it to fully resolve. So you would want to wait about a day or two, otherwise the link might not work. And then moving on, we have team. As this is a collaborative website and you may be using it for your company, you can add team members to it through this page and then you can also select different access levels for them such as full access or you can have people with reduced permission. And then you have the settings. I'm going to be blurring a few of these things out such as my name but as you can see you can have the time zone, your email, your first name and your last name. 
um, and then it gives you the option to change your password and then a little bit down you have security um, plan info default pixels and default video options so that you can set things to happen every time without having to individually edit them for each video so there we have it uh, that was my review of and demonstration rather of vidpower this now begs two questions do i think vidpower is a good software and would I recommend it to you? I really like how it has a very broad and very easy to navigate user interface. My favorite thing about VidPower, I would say, is the fact that all of the options are very easy to navigate to. The way that they're laid out is very, very user-friendly. The input boxes are very easy to understand. Uh, you get a lot of information for what you need. As you can see, the analytics page. I like how you can view a small amount with one click. And then if you do want to view a larger page, then you can. Um, so would I recommend it? Yes. And do I like it? Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions, as I said, leave them in the comments section. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.